gotta be the man! You gotta beat the man! This is my yard now. I will fight anyone and everyone. Here he comes! Where is he? Cut this shot! Your arms are just too short to box with God. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Future Heels Podcast. We're at episode 46. Woo! 46? We're almost 50. 46. <laughs> we should do something cool for the 50th episode. Yeah, like WrestleMania. <laughs> Would that be WrestleMania? We should record three before WrestleMania. <laughs> what? I'm sure we will. Are you, are you hearing things? Yeah, I'm hearing things. <laughs> are you guys hearing things? I normally hear things. I give up on hearing things. I hear them all the time. <laughs> People don't believe me. So we're here today to watch Fastlane. Might be a good show. Sounds like the beginning of a funeral. What? My dearly beloved. <laughs> or, or a wedding. Either way. My dearly Same beloved, thing sometimes. We are here to observe the Fastlane. My dear beloved, we're here to observe how stupid this name is to this pay-per-view. Yeah, okay. You know what? I don't hate it, but... If there was a way for a contender to fast lane themselves to a nah, stop, stop, no? stop, stop, okay. stop, stop. Okay, I'm just trying to justify it. <laughs> no, that don't even make sense. You have to justify a billion dollar company's idea. What about great big balls of fire? Did you yeah, see that all happen at one time? Do you think it's coming back? No, that's dumb. You don't think it's coming back? <laughs> no. They're dumb enough to do it. Because <laughs> no, that happened around this time, well, didn't it? I don't sure. know. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I ain't, I don't remember. We were doing the podcast. I know that. Oh, it was dumb. Um, but next year we're only getting twelve pay per views, right? Next year, yes, because I judge my years based on WrestleManias. You like the Chinese? <laughs> I said that though when I messaged you the other day when you were like, "Oh my God, there's another pay per view." I typed out next year. <laughs> uh. Yes, it's the WWE uh, New Year. Kind of is. Yeah, I mean, realistically. It definitely kind of is. Yeah. Okay, so, before we keep going, something just reminded me of this. Okay. You know the, um, I'm sure you've seen the change my mind memes? No. It's a guy sitting at a table in a park, and it says something, 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 change my mind. I don't know what the original picture is, but I've seen, like, water is... Not wet, change my mind. Okay. Or, um... Fascinating shit, change my mind. Pineapple does belong on pizza, change my mind. It does. Stuff like that. Oh, it definitely does. I'm about to order some, actually. But, the, uh... I saw one, and it said, uh... WWE is redneck anime, change my mind. Oh, I remember that. Oh, that. Yeah. No, it is. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. Just to make sure we're all on the same page. So y'all rednecks. No, then I said, oh my god, we're WWEbos. Yes, we're I'm WWEbos. A, <laughs> so technically... I'm proud of that. And that, statement. what you just said, WWE is Redneck song? You said, what did you say? Redneck anime. Like so y'all anime. Rednecks. I watched anime. It doesn't make me Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> just saying. You don't want to be Redneck? You ain't got to be no Redneck. I don't. He's just trying to recruit us. Oh, yeah, right. I don't need to recruit y'all. <laughs> no? No. We're I, not. You never know. Uh, we saw. Nope, I feel like you do. We saw nah. Redneck and Walmart. Yeah, we did. Yeah. This is, I don't know why I'm That's bringing this up. That's a shout out that no one knows. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't listen I don't, to the show. I'm, I'm we'll kind of afraid to hear this one. We'll talk about it after because no one knows who the hell we're talking no, about. No, I don't know why you even brought it up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so let's do... I know on the last podcast we did do predictions. We know a little bit more now, and there's more matches. So, on the pre-show, I'm going to be willing to bet, is Becky Lynch and Naomi versus Carmella and Natalia. Oh, God. What? It's nothing to do with the wrestling, does it? Hell to the no. Is it interesting? Yes, sir. Oh. That, the look on his face tells me... That's something we need to talk it's about. It's more interesting than that match. I can't talk about this on the show. Okay. Oh, I can't wait till that Bon Jovi concert. <laughs> That's soon. <laughs> Jeez, that... Next month. Because this is who I'm bringing. Okay. All right, well. Good thing. Uh, Hallelujah. Good thing a certain Shinsuke someone Nakamura doesn't Nakamura like versus Rusev. The show. Oh, shit. <laughs> nah, she don't. <laughs> 
God, Shinsuke not. Nakamura versus Rusev. I guess whoever right wins uh, gets their own day. <laughs> oh, I hope so. That would be pretty great. If I win, I'm going to call it hump day. <laughs> Calm yourself. We need to do phones off during the recording. Yeah. Oh. Especially with Brooks. Yeah, uh, Shinsuke. Yeah, yeah, that one guy's going to win for sure. <laughs> right, we have a match starting, though. Who cares? It's a pre-show. Oh, yeah, it's a six-man tag. It's the, it's the guys they don't give a shit about. They just throw them out there. All right, so, listeners, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to go look at pictures of Mojo Raleigh, like the big promotional images of the matches. Why does it look like he's about to cry? Because he almost had the U.S. title. And oh, he dude. lost it, so now he was in and running for it, wasn't he? No. Well, that's okay, because Daniel Bryan always looks like he's just about to laugh. He does. Just got that permanent. Kurt Angle looks drunk all the time. I don't know. You say, I don't think he does. You said that last episode. <laughs> Kurt Angle hitting that sauce before that show start. I don't think he is. I think you're a crazy person. I am crazy. All right, six man tag. It's uh, Brazongo and was it Zack Ryder? No, Tyler Breeze. Why is it Tyler Breeze and not Zack Ryder? Whatever. Anyways, versus. Uh, Mojo Raleigh and uh, the world's greatest tech. Nope. Uh, <laughs> John Benjamin. Ready, Willie, and Gable? Yes, Jack Gable. Is that their name? No. Dumb. It's just. It's, it's catch Sheldon race. Benjamin and Chad Gable. That's their tag team name. Oh, get creative. Yeah. It, you know what would be a cool name for a team like that? American Theta. Because it's the second one. No? So what's the next match? <laughs> uh, United States Championship, Bobby Roode versus Randy Orton. Randy Orton's on the mid card. That's, That's kind of weird. Good for him. I'm totally okay, as much as I love Bobby Roode, I'm totally okay with Randy Orton winning the United States Championship. I hate both of them equally. <laughs> if Randy Orton wins the United States Championship and takes it to WrestleMania... It makes the belt more important, no? No. No, no, no. Ty it's Wayne Yorton. It doesn't matter. Bobby Root. I got Bobby Root. You know, in this match right now, I, I, I'm i going for a Ty Dillinger's collar. Okay. On his red jacket, because that's the best thing ever. So you got uh, Randy Orton or... The hell he got Ray? on? He's always got uh, that thing on. I ain't never seen him. Yeah, I don't know what the hell it is. It's like uh, he has a sign on the back and like his giant high collar. How come we don't see him on like wrestling shows? Because he he's awesome. We should see him. I don't I don't see him. Yeah. Oh, I pick uh, Stone Cold runs and gives them both stunners and yeah, right. Fuck that match. So you're picking Root? <laughs> no, I'm not picking either one. Oh, Brian's <laughs> out that one. Yeah, yeah. No, okay, that's that what is I my figure. laundry match. <laughs> okay. And we have the Ooth O's versus the New Day. New Day? That's, we all know that's going to be an incredible match, but who's going to win? New Day. Yeah? Yep. Because I feel like them winning their, what do you say, fifth or sixth? Yep. Fifth. Fifth uh, tag team championship at WrestleMania would be more important. Yeah, I guess, but. But also going into Mania as champions is also super important. So it's either one. Uh, whoever wins there, we win. So that's going to be a really good match. Yeah. Why does Mojo look like he's trying to pull start the, the stage? I, I don't know. Because he's crazy. By the way, you know, if you go listen to the old podcast and I talk about how much I love Mojo Raleigh, you, that wasn't me. That was, it was your favorite. It wasn't. He doesn't <laughs> run as much anymore. He doesn't. Because he always part of my uh, freaking Mike music. Dude's giving up. He really seems like he's giving up. He always drinking. He getting old. Why? Why is everyone just drinking you? <laughs> Everyone's drunk. I don't know for a fact he does because he hangs with uh, Mike Busey in Orlando. Okay. He parties all night long. He gets fucked up. Cocaine, sweet tarts, everything. Oh yeah, is that the scoop? <laughs> you want to say that out loud on the podcast? <laughs> God damn. <laughs> The views and opinions of those of the oh, show. Yes. <laughs> yeah, do not reflect that of the shows. Yes. I'm just playing. Are you? No. The movie ticket guy <laughs> just put on a wrestling head headset. 
So that's Wait, pretty movie funny. ticket guy? Yeah. Are See, you, you know what? This is what's going to make me mad. Fandango was free. He wrestled at WrestleMania and won. Yeah. Now look at him. WrestleMania won? No, he wrestled at WrestleMania <laughs> and won. Okay. You got to ask you. I can barely talk. My mouth hurt. So yeah, you got to open your ears a little okay, bit for no me problem. today. The man beat. Who he beat? Jericho. Chris Jericho. His first WrestleMania. Fandango's really good. Now look at him. I know. I love the Fashion Police, so. though. They're a fun gimmick, but... It's stupid. What is this? It's stupid. Also, Tyler Breeze is fucking great. And it's stupid. They're making them both look like idiots. Because they're idiots. <laughs> Tyler, Tyler, Breeze Tyler Breeze was a force in NXT. He like, was. Yeah, but he was still an idiot there. He was, he was a cocky son of a bitch. Which is cool. Instead of evolving the Tyler Breeze and Brizongo characters, they devolved them. That's the problem. They couldn't inf- they couldn't find anything else to do with them, so they just gave them that. Just said, "Oh wow. shit!" Oh yeah, I forgot about that. What was it? Doesn't That's Tyler B- Breeze like? Isn't he? Able- no, it's Ziggler does that too. The zigzag. No, just the oversell, like the crazy. Oh, easy. oh yeah, Tyler Breeze. Oh, yeah. That's why he's so good because he oversells because he he's just so good. He's- I'm so glad we got a commercial in the middle of this match. Well, I mean it was a pre-show. I there, know. It is a free thing. Just say, I'm glad like, you're right. This commercial. Also, it's for Ronda Rousey. WWE is interrupting their match for a match at <laughs> WrestleMania. No comment. Know. What? No comment. No comment. Um, then we've got the women's championship match: Charlotte Flair versus Ruby Riot. Really? Yeah. One on one. Yeah. That would be awesome to see Ruby win that. Uh, Charlotte's already taken out the other two of the Riot Squad. Bullshit. Yeah. Oh nope. god! Here come Brian getting all pissed yeah. off. <laughs> nope. I don't believe it. That should be Ruby's so good. I'm, I'm so glad she is on the main roster and has a championship title match. That is freaking awesome. Because she was not in NXT very long. And she was really no. damn good. Yes. It sucks we never got to meet her. Yeah. That, that's the only thing that sucks is like, yay, they went from NXT to the main roster quickly. And they're doing, oh shit, now we missed them. <laughs> or the one time you're just like, there's the meet and greet and you're like, I don't know that. Yeah. Why is that what happened to you? Yeah. Oh. They were like the meet and greet for with Sarah Bridges. I was like, I don't know who that is. Yeah. And now I'm like, oh, what the fuck? That happens all the time too. What the that fuck? That happens all the time. Damn. All right. So then we have the six pack challenge, which I'm really Brooks is just gonna run out and get a six pack. Yeah, I'm just gonna <laughs> get some beer. That's basically what they tell us to do. It's kind of funny that. <clears throat> PG product has the six pack challenge. And yeah, nobody just... drinking. Yeah. Some cool shows up in this one too. Yeah. <laughs> I wish he, he was the referee. looking for the six pack. I wish he would be the referee of that. That would be awesome. He should that referee every sense. single six pack. Did we already talk about that? Probably. Okay. He should referee every six pack challenge and if need be, every 12 pack challenge. <laughs> mm. Actually, 12 pack challenge is just a drinking game. <laughs> But that's going to be AJ Styles as champion versus John Cena versus Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn versus Baron Corbin versus Dolph Ziggler. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of people. That's too many people. Right? I'm voting for one of them. You what? Did you just (laughs) work? Did you just have a stroke? A little one. Give me a headache. That was not words. You just made noise. I understood what he said, though. He says he's, he's over one of them. I thought I was voting for one of them. Well, I thought he said, I guess I didn't understand what he said. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's what I said or not, but that's what I meant to say. I got AJ Styles. AJ has to win this. I forgot who the fuck in it. <laughs> he said so many names. <laughs> AJ Styles, John Cena, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, Baron Corbin, Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler's going to win. No. <laughs> Hell no. It's going to be AJ Styles. Yeah. Now, it's possible. And I'm going to lose my shit if John Cena wins. Did yes. you see the promo that he did on SmackDown? No. He said he's not wrestling The Undertaker. 
He is going to be, I think maybe he earned his way into the six-pack challenge, right? Yeah, he and beat AJ Styles. He right. beat somebody on SmackDown. And he got added himself to uh, the six-pack challenge a la fucking Hulk Hogan rule. <laughs> That's some Hulk Hogan shit. And he said that he's going to win at Fastlane, and he's going to face Nakamura, and that AJ Styles should call in his rematch clause and make it a triple threat. And AJ basically was like, did it no. sound like that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It really did. Go watch that promo. It's your typical Super Cena obnoxious promo that we all hated and went away for a while. I'll be honest with you. I tried to watch Raw and SmackDown this week, but when Cena came out, I went to bed. Wow. That was one of the... That drop kick. That what drop happened? Kick though? That, that's going to that's gonna be a gift. What, two? Okay. Like, he was like three feet away from him, and he just... I don't know. That was weird. What the hell was that? <laughs> I love that move. Like, it's just... It's literally just a front flip into the guy. And you kick him in the head if you yeah, can. Yeah, okay. That's it. That's all it is. Oh, what's this? Power bomb? Oh, nope. Okay, so, I yeah, who do you guys got for the commentary? Up and over. We should. Oh, the spinning outside crescent kick from Tyler Brick. We've done commentary, and you were not that. And the black guy goes <laughs> over, and he hits the floor. Chop. See, the three of us need to do commentary. <laughs> the three of us need to do commentary. <laughs> okay, we're going to talk about that off. Mojo okay. goes mojo. I got AJ. Who do you got? Nobody. AJ. John Cena. Randy Orton. Kevin Steen. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Ron Simmons. I was like, about the picture I looked at earlier. Look who fucking won. Pizongo. Yeah, of course they won. Nah, I'm so sick of this crap. You know who gonna win? Oh, copyright. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, so that's uh, that's our reaction to the freaking six man tag. Yeah. Triple and H. And our predictions. I mean, I guess I'm okay with Ty Dillinger winning. Triple H gonna win the six pack challenge. Triple H probably. <laughs> <laughs> They're talking about Carmella cashing in her. Money in the bank tonight. No, yeah, she, gonna she has to cash it in before WrestleMania. I right? thought she could cash it in at WrestleMania. She can cash it in at, at WrestleMania. Yeah. Uh-huh. WrestleMania's the last day. That's what she's going to do. She ain't going to do it tonight. That would be, that's going to be infuriating if she does. She's not going to do that because R- Ruby Riot going to have her two minions on the side of the ring. Damn right. And they're going to ruin it for her if she does. Especially if Ruby lose. Yeah. We'll see her a little so, terrible we'll part. But you'll get our reactions here in a minute. It's going to be like a half a second for you guys. So it's going to be a little while for us. So we'll see you in a bit. All right. We just watched the Nakamura versus Rusev match. And it was stiff as hell and really, really good. Yeah, it was pretty good. Damn! Yeah. Rusev nearly killed Nakamura. We nearly had to re- redo WrestleMania. Us. We nearly had to. Yeah, we were at right. Really <laughs> Damn. I was... And I pitched this while we were watching it. I'm, I would be okay with Rusev versus Nakamura versus Styles at WrestleMania. No, no, no other no, than no. the fact that we need them to at WrestleMania. Yeah. Like if that wasn't such a dream match, I would be totally cool with a triple threat. One day though, Rusev should be champion. I strongly believe that. That one he champion already. WWE champion, I mean. All right, he, the champion. That's on one guy who deserves to be champion more than anybody else on this roster. And that's Kevin Owens. Me. No. Sami Zayn. No. John Cena. Fuck no. <laughs> Randy Orton. Hell no, he's old. Xavier Woods. Ain't English. <laughs> yeah, I'm wondering. Carmella. Cesaro. Oh, fair enough. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, y'all, y'all forgot that's my guy? Yeah, that's true. Corey Graves. Corey Graves sucks. Okay. See, that's another podcast we have to go back. Cause you Did you not watch much Corey Graves back in the day? No. Nah. You too, we need to sit down and watch like best of Corey Graves stuff. Because dude was going to be a champion. Good Absolutely. for him. They need at least have him on one fucking show, not both of them. I don't know why you have such a problem with that. He's not on both shows. Yes, he? he is. He's on Raw and SmackDown. Well, goddamn. Good for him. No. <laughs> yeah, Fucking, they got a different swag on both of them. We need different people. That's fair. Yeah. I don't, I don't mind him. He's a good commentator. He just pick one. 
Shit. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like that was a fantastic match. Now we're gonna get the U.S. Championship match, and this should oh, be a good one. Time for me to go to the laundry. I'm gonna take no. a nap. Yeah, no, yeah. After his entrance. Yeah, I'm gonna watch the entrance. The little uh, hoverboard spinny. I'm gonna be honest with you, Randy Orton. Now it's like boring watching him wrestle. I've never liked Randy Orton. Never. Bobby Roode might make it good though. Never like Bobby Roode. Either. Ain't like. I I don't know. It just, I love Randy Orton. I ain't got no disrespect to him. No, but God damn, you can tell he's getting old and you can tell he's trying to push people over and stuff. <laughs> trying to push people over? That's it. I feel like Oh, it. wait. You mean in a bad way or a good way? Good way. Good way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Because his time is almost up and shit. What's he, more, he's barely on the damn show. Yeah. What's, what's a more interesting story? Bobby losing the championship tonight and getting it back at WrestleMania or keeping it throughout WrestleMania? If it's if Randy if we all, if we definitely know that Randy's time up, let Randy win it tonight and him lose that WrestleMania. Yeah, because I think it's more eyes on Bobby winning. Yeah, he'll retire at, at that Raw or oh, that SmackDown. I don't think he's retiring anytime soon, but he's definitely that taking Intercontinental title. That was beautiful. He's was definitely beautiful. taking like a beautiful. big step back. I wish they could bring the old belts. I'm sorry, Jake. I wish they could bring the old belts back, but he has he is taking taking a step back. He taking that weight. Hey, I said in the front, in the middle of the lunch line. He going all the way to the back. He's had a fantastic career. Now look, he's got gray hair. That's the he only, doesn't care. Look, that's the only belt he hasn't won. Yeah, that's why I'm totally okay with him winning it. And yeah, he ain't gonna win it. I'm be honest with you. No. Probably ain't gonna win it. Just like John Cena ain't gonna be Rick Flair's record. He ain't gonna win that belt. This is pretty interesting. I'm pretty, pretty being perfectly honest. Bobby Roode ain't got nothing to lose. He gonna be there for a while. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, we'll see. Glorious. I won't give in. I won't. Bitch, I just got beat by Randy Orton. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that was a pretty good RKO, too. I was like I've seen that one before. Yeah, no, definitely. Off the top rope RKO. The best RKO I've ever seen was when Seth, at WrestleMania with Seth Rollins. Absolutely. That was the best one I ever seen. That was we freaked the fuck out over that. And it's 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 a couple more back in the day too that was fucking like oh shit, but yeah, it's going. I, What's that? Hold on. What's happening? Oh, it's just Jinder Mahal. Come on, you know what? <laughs> Send his ass back to Canada. Okay, so it's going. Oh, where are you from? Asia? Yeah, you know he's from Canada. He's yeah, literally he's from Canada. Really from Canada. I know, but what's this? What's this? India. 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 Yeah. So it's going to be a triple threat between these guys. No, it's not. I bet it is. No, it's not. Why else would Jinder be coming out here? Because they ain't got nothing else to do with him. What? But this is the last pay-per-view before WrestleMania. So is it going to be Jinder versus Randy at WrestleMania? Oh, shit. He actually whooping his ass. No, it's going to be Jinder. Oh, here goes Bobby. Yeah, see, it's a triple threat. Boom, glorious DDT. Thank you. Get the fuck out. You don't belong here. Get out of here. Oh, he's in a glorious DDT, Randy. Yep. Yeah, Bobby's one of the back of mania. It's going to happen. If it's just him and Orton, I'll watch it. But if, if that monkey going there with it, I'm pro, I'm I'm protesting this match. What? I said monkey. Yeah, I said fucking monkey. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like, Jen, but this is the thing. You got to look at it from this perspective. Randy Orton, one of the most decorated champions of all time. Jinder Mahal, he won it once. <laughs> He's still WWE champion at one point. Bobby beats both of them. That's even more important. Jinder ain't got... No. Don't add Jinder to this shit. It's already Bobby Roode got more sh- more credibility than he does. He the only thing Bobby Roode hasn't been in is a three-man fucking band. Hmm. Okay. Bobby hasn't been WWE champion, though. That's what I'm saying. He will soon. I agree. But if he beats two WWE champions at the same time, that's even better. You know what I mean? I know what you mean, but I don't want to believe it. But I agree with you that I would rather be Bobby and Randy again. But it's got to be a triple threat. Because they always try to work in as many people into WrestleMania as possible. Not if they don't give good matches. Eh. Jenny Mahal matches suck. Yeah. If If... They're not going to give you a three-man fight, uh, a triple threat match if one dude can't fucking wrestle. That's too bad that didn't work out. The Jinder Mahal experiment. It, like, they, it wasn't supposed to work out. They just did that to get that country on board. 
Yeah, but what if, you know, alternate reality, turns out Jinder's actually a great champion. Then we would have respect for him. That would have been nice, though. I wouldn't. Hey, fuck him, all right? Well, yeah, now we know that. Sam, oh. I was looking forward to having a, a younger, diff, just a different guy. Oh, God, they're trying to run a bitchy rousey. Just a different guy being WWE champion would have been nice. Seeing the new guard coming up. I'm totally cool with Jinder being the new guard, but not anymore because he sucks. <laughs> nah, I ain't want him in the first place. He ain't earn it. But if he did earn it. If he went. If, that would have been nice. You, yeah, I'll give you that one, but. I mean, at least you could tell something was going to change for him. The man got all jacked up. Look at the Kurt Angle drunk moment. He's not drunk. He seemed like he was drunk. He's that not. is right here. Look at him. He's just standing right. Look at that guy he's shaking the shit. He's he crazy. can do whatever he wants. You're he's, drunk. I, I was drunk a drunk. Drunk off his few shit. I was a drunk, you <laughs> punk bitch. That's how he knows. Yeah, I keep pointing Thanks out alcohol. Thanks for the no one. Yeah. Fair enough. Oh, yeah. hey, hey. Brian's here, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, you guys were done talking about that match. So. <laughs> Alright, so during that match, I fixed my washing machine. I leveled it out. What? Uh, Why you can't hear it? I, I did my laundry. What? Uh, oh, I forgot the fabric softener. What? Uh, and I took the trash out. What? So, then the match was still going. And I was. Oh, yeah, let's talk about that. Because he didn't watch it. Me and you will talk about it. it he like watched it the end of the day. Kind of. Yeah. I, was, I was ordering dinner. There was a one point. <laughs> That match was over. <laughs> what the fuck happened? That shit took forever, to be honest with Dude, you. It was like, oh, here's the finish. Here it comes. All right. They, and, pro- uh, they probably said, uh, the referee part told them to go longer because it was too damn it short. It must have. That, that damn thing took forever. Because it was like, almost a finish, almost a finish, almost a finish, rest hold, and superplex. Oh, what if gender, <laughs> what if gender didn't come out there when he was supposed to? And he just came out there and he got his ass for right there. Yeah. You know that happened before? Oh. With uh, Eddie Guerrero and and, uh, and Vicky, it was the match get when Ray Mysterio Jr. Uh, Eric Guerrero was in the spot and he needed Vicky to come out there. He was hanging from a I think a rope or he was hanging from the, the title belts or something against Ray okay. Mysterio Jr. And Vicky missed a spot, so Eddie was just hanging there. <laughs> uh, the ladder was moved. I think uh, uh, Ray Mysterio moved the ladder, so he fell from the fucking Raptors. I thought he broke his fucking leg. Was he supposed to fall on Vicky? No, Vicky was supposed to bring the ladder so he could step down. Okay. But she missed the fucking... That's funny. Oh, what happened? What's going on here? I don't know. We'll find out. Don't you know, give a shit about three, three matches. matches going to turn to four hours. I didn't watch three No, we, the three matches is not going to turn to four hours. We, tag, tag team match? You didn't watch it? You had, a, you had to go away? I forgot about the damn tag team match. It was stupid. Know. Oh, yeah. That was oh, true. Wait, okay. It was so food. stupid. I remember they were, it was a good match. New Day and the Usos were having a great match. Jess is still talking. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't say welcome to the... We well, already we recorded were, that bit. We're like halfway through the show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, Damn. the Bludgeon Brothers came out. <laughs> which I don't hate, but I really wish this would have happened on like SmackDown. It is SmackDown. I mean a regular show. It is a regular show. We say that every paper. It's stupid. This fast lane is stupid. The name is stupid. Only it was only one good match, and that was the first one. Everything well, WrestleMania is gonna be triple threats. You wanna hear our reaction? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Did you guys just see that? No, what? Uh, the uh, camera guy just was filming Cena sitting in the corner, and Cena pushed him away. Because <laughs> he got a wrestle on a ticker. So that yeah, the Bludgeon Brothers kind of sort of ruined that match, but Good. now it's gonna be a triple threat. It's gonna be the Usos versus the New Day versus the Bludgeon. Let Brothers me tell you something. The whole freaking night of this pay per view, Jacob has been saying it's, it's gonna be a triple threat. Triple it's threat. Gonna, every yeah. single match of SmackDown gonna be a triple threat, y'all. Just want to let y'all the tag know. Tag one is oh my the women's. The pre-show not. gonna be a triple threat. The announcing crew <laughs> gonna be a triple threat. The rain crew gonna be we'll a triple see. threat. The we'll power see. guys gonna no, be a triple re- threat. The announcers are a triple threat. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Damn. I just got, I got mossed. You know what? Come on. Weird. <laughs> so that sucks. Agreed? Or was it kind of cool? What? I mean, it was cool to see the Bludgeon Brothers wreck people. Oh, yeah, I was fine with that. I like the Bludgeon Brothers. I didn't really care. Either way, it, it was a good match before they messed it up. 
Yeah, it really was. It, I'll give it to him that. You know, I really haven't seen, uh, what's the little boy name? What? Or the trumpet. Oh, Xavier Woods. I, I really never saw him wrestle one on one. He's really good. So I, this this will be my first time watching him. He ain't do that bad. He, he's pretty damn but good. But we got to, what the hell is this shit? Ohio. Oh, they filmed it in Ohio. Oh, okay. Oh, so it's filmed, so it's not even live. Ohio versus everyone. Yeah. Is that what it says? No. No, it's <laughs> TNA thing. Oh. That's why uh, they break your face with a baseball bat. They do. And they don't give a shit about it. Did we talk about it on the last podcast? I hope so. They do have Ohio. I'm so happy that he did not apologize for doing it. Me that. too. It, I'm be honest with you, Jacob. If you want to know about the triple threat match, you need to listen to this. No, I don't. Because Shane Man might show up, he might make everything triple He's, threat. Uh, well, we'll get to that. In a WrestleMania triple threat. We'll see, probably. The Berber Street Battle triple threat match. Berber Street Berber. You heard what I said, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Jacob, try my life. Everyone's having Brian had a stroke earlier. You just had a stroke. I had a stroke like seven years ago, so don't be picking at me, buddy. Oh, okay. I did. You did? I had a mini stroke. Dang, I'm sorry. Yeah, so you keep laughing at me, I'm going to slap your ass. My grandpa's had like two strokes. And it's funny, ain't it? Who was that? What the hell was that? <laughs> Someone didn't mute their phone. I was to see, y'all got a bird too? <laughs> no. Nope. Oh. oh. I'm a bird. I'm a bird, I'm a bird. <laughs> we got a uh, human bird in the, in the room. Apparently. <laughs> and then we also had the women's championship match, which I thought was really good. Ruby Wright and Charlotte. It was dumb. That was a good match. Why do you hate the women so much? I don't. It was just stupid. Everything was stupid. Brooks right. hates women. It was stupid See, I know, right? before the match started. I got a daughter and a wife, and I hate women. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand it. I thought they had a great match. I thought Ruby Riot did too. incredible. Who said that? I hear. I don't hear no pots clicking. <laughs> and then Oscar came out and chose Charlotte, which I think we all knew was going to happen. But yeah, I thought she chose already, but I was no, probably sleep during that moment. Ronda Rousey. Yeah, I forgot about she came out there. Wasn't there a That was going to be triple threat, too. <laughs> uh, we're a triple threat. Damn it. That's right. <laughs> uh, and then, of course, we had the six-pack challenge. And Brooks left and got a six-pack. You left. You did leave. You should have brought back a six-pack. <laughs> I ain't leave doing the six-pack. You didn't. You left earlier during the crappy tag match with the women. Oh, yeah, I definitely left for that one. Went to a crappy that's, store. That's the most reaction you're going to get for that match because it was crappy. Oh, I'm happy I left. Yeah. And you came back much. right as the match ended. I felt it. You did. I felt it, you know. I didn't want to see that crap. As soon as she came out there and she had green hair, I'm gone. It was a wig, too. I figured. And then the six packs challenge. What do you guys think of that? Stupid. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Which no. is usually my reaction, but it, it was pretty good. I thought it was really good. So I'm sitting in your seat, so I'm you tonight. Okay, yeah. I hate, You're in the negative seat. I No, I'm about to be negative. I hate that spot <clears throat> at the beginning where Cena beat everybody. Stupid. Everybody hate that. That was dumb. And then there's the whole <clears throat> him doing the, the five-knuckle shuffle to Dolphin someone else. Oh, the double one? That's that so dumb. stupid looking. Yeah. And then that's his thing. That's his he, uh, he put AJ through the table, right? Yes. Yeah, so, it, I don't know. He didn't do it. Vince did. What? <laughs> <laughs> you are getting a little funny. <laughs> um, I thought that match was really great. We saw Baron Corbin looked really good. That match was stupid. Stop playing with these people. This whole thing was stupid. I'm not talking anymore. What? The match was pretty good, right, Brian? Like, even Baron Corbin with that. I like that choke slam backbreaker. Yeah. That was done one to Brian. Well, only because Ziggler can sell the hell out of anything. Ziggler sold, he sold the move so bad, it didn't even happen. I want to see Ziggler sell the the Poker Doom. Like, he would have sold it. Like, I want to see him sell a stunner. See yes. if he can outdo the rock. That's happened. I like, guarantee that's Stone happened. Cold. From Stone yeah, Cold? I guarantee that's happened. I'm going to look that up. Because so. if he can sell it better than the rock, I'll be happy. No one can sell it better than the rock. Oh, talk about that, Jacob. Yeah, that can't happen. What? What? Randy Orton and the, the triple threat you match. You, this is your first triple that's threat. That's going to happen too. Triple threats all around. You really think that's going to happen, Brian? No. <laughs> Why would they put him in a WrestleMania match against them too? Why would Gender show up and attack both of them? Because they have nothing else for him to do. 
There's not a reason to have a guy attack. Why not? Hey, gender, go down there and mess him up. Go, 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 go. And then what? He's just off the match, the thing till WrestleMania. They've been doing that with a lot of wrestlers. The pre-show talking crap. They did it with Dolph Ziggler. And there's feuds up till the thing. One person's got to fight the other person to get to the match. WrestleMania is like tomorrow. (laughs) Better not (laughs) be. It's soon. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be pissed. I'm. You know, I'm kind of glad that I think we're at the point of pay per view fatigue. Yeah. <laughs> and now they're dropping it to 12. I ain't yeah, at the point of fatigue. Man. I'm just pointing at the stupidness that's coming out of the stupid shows. Yeah. Why, I, Stupidity I, I'm at still going to say this. I don't know why the fuck we're sitting here talking about this when we should be talking about Kenny Omega. Go ahead, Wearing man. the bear suit. You are a bear suit? Taking the head off and all of a sudden he's beating the shit out of Cody Rhodes. Can we have, you have evidence of this? Yeah. And then Cody Rhodes' wife slaps him and then kisses him. So why are we sitting here talking about this? Why are we talking about the stuff that matters? I'm looking it up now. I don't. I mean, do we want to pause it and bring that up? No, because it's bedtime. Okay, well, then so, why are you bringing it up? Because we're oh, wasting our time bedtime. watching this. We shouldn't have watched this. Why did we watch this? Why I guess I was watching the Slipknot the beginning of the night. I thought you guys saw it. Why didn't you guys see it? I didn't even know about it. Me neither. And I, think, I think it was live, too. Like, I think they did it live on uh, Facebook. Uh, I don't want to see 16th Kenny Chesney. anniversary show. I don't know. So, anyways, I do want to point out that at one point, after oh, Cena, actually, just watch, yeah. yes, after Cena had wrecked everyone, and Brooks went, and now they here, they all come, <laughs> they all jumped on the ring. <laughs> I just watched Brooks for a few minutes and let him predict the match for me. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to watch it. That. I'm about to watch it. Don't, don't hold on. We'll bring it up on here at least. We won't talk about it no, until I, next week. I typed in the wrong thing. Okay, good. Oh, I'm, I'm finna watch it. Stop. <laughs> David Brooks. I ain't uh, gonna tell you, buddy. The Bullet Club is not fun. You yeah. had an all in shirt on. Is it? Yeah, yeah that's Stop. it. Stop. I wanna see it. I ain't sure you. I see it. I see it. <laughs> see it at lunchtimes. Oh, my God. But, anyways, back to. Oh, this is Ring of Honor. at yeah. hand. Just happened for, on Back Friday. Back to the show oh. at hand. Back well, to what? the show that we Stay professional, watched. guys. It's a professional podcast. Oh, yeah. Is this really? Yeah. Oh, shit. Where's your suit and tie? Well, I don't even know. I'm professional. <laughs> oh, she is kissing them. All right. Yeah, so, buddy. For the, for the boss, man, go in. <laughs> <laughs> no, I forget what else. Oh, you. someone asked, where's AJ? You know, we, he got put through a table earlier. He was going to knock to help. I, I even said, oh, he'll be back to deliver for him and win. What happened? Yeah, exactly. So we why do we need to happening? watch this stuff if we know what's going to happen? I guess just to make sure John think, doesn't I, win. I think we... <laughs> if WrestleMania wasn't happening next, we probably wouldn't watch the next pay-per-view. That's not true, and you know it. No, it's pretty true. We're I, I clearly gluttons for punishment. No, I don't think I would. I'll probably sleep. I, now, I enjoy the six-pack challenge more than you did, only because I think it should have just been... Sammy and Kevin. That, that's the last thing I want to talk about. Like, that's that's all that mattered in that match to me. Like it's, I think it's a shame AJ was out of it for so long. I didn't care. Nah, it's all right. I'm just being Brian right now. I'm being negative. <laughs> but it was a good match, but I didn't care. But Sammy and Kevin, Sammy laid down to let Kevin pin him, which, wow. And who told you that was going to happen? <laughs> you did. You did. You called it. <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't call Kevin attacking him. Nobody <laughs> did. Great. Yeah. And then they beat the hell out of each other. They really did. Yeah. Because those two will fight forever. And so is it going to be them two at WrestleMania? It's going to be them two plus Shane McMahon's triple threat. <laughs> no, it's not. Shane McMahon's going to be the referee. Why would he be in the <clears throat> match at all? Because he Why would him. they attack him? Because then he's going to be like, okay, fine. Yeah, you, you guys what, fight. That's right, bro. Okay, I hope that's how it works out. We need Sammy and Kevin at yeah. WrestleMania. We're also going to get AJ and Nakamura. This is like an indie WrestleMania. Nah, just two matches. Okay, still. Even if that even happens with Sammy and, and Kevin. Because they might mess it up in the back. All right, game. guys, thank you for listening to the future. You guys want to go. What? <laughs> yeah. I'm, <laughs> what? I'm just messing with oh. you. Oh. <laughs> Anything else you guys want to touch on? No? Just dead air? Just... <laughs> we'll touch on that. Then. We didn't even talk about the first match. That was the best match. Yeah, we did. Yes, we did. We did? 
We yeah. did like right after. We've been recording all night. Oh, we sure did, didn't we? Yeah. Damn. I'm Oops. off tonight, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's fine. <clears throat> we're done. I'm sitting in Brian's chair, too, so that don't help. My negative hey, Nancy move. Her Jess is right sitting now. in my... Uh, what? Her bedroom. She has to sleep out here tonight. So. <laughs> you sleeping in my bed, girl. She's she sleeping. gone. Yeah. She's Damn, she nut up. Yep. Scared the crap out of her. No. Oh, no. Scared. Wake up! Yo, boo. That's all Ooh. I'm going to go fart over that. She'll wake up. <laughs> Burp. <laughs> you just yelling at you for burping. No, it was before I ate the pieces. All right, guys. Thank you for listening to the Future Heels podcast. I know we didn't do intros at the beginning. Oh, crap, we did. <laughs> so my name is Jacob Best in the Realm Hotter. I'm Jeremy the Coach Brooks. Brian, Brian, man, Peacock. You can find me on Twitter at Best in the Realm, Facebook, Best of the Realm Gaming, Twitch.tv slash Best of the Realm, YouTube, Best in the Realm. You can find me on Twitter at Jeremy Brooks Kiss My Ass. <laughs> then you can find me on Instagram at J Brooks Fuck Off. Uh, I don't think that's accurate, but you can find me on Twitter at Brian25. Make it accurate. Or Make that your Twitter handle. <laughs> I wish I could, but I can't, can't with Twitter. Instagram, Not with Twitter. Brian1138. I'm sorry, y'all. It's Jeremy Brooks 42 at Twitter and Jay Brooks 42 at Instagram. I apologize. I'm not well. You don't care. I don't, but you I don't need to care. apologize. I love y'all. I love every single one of y'all. And you can find all of our content, including <laughs> new stuff coming out. <clears throat> what? What? What do you got to say? Did you say something? No, no okay. <laughs> <laughs> including all new content coming really soon. Drunk. That's the bad thing. We're going to have to get you drunk one of these times. I know you've been drunk on the show. Yeah, that's the best show we had. Yeah. It lasted three hours. That's right. <laughs> that was, that Brian, that was a Brian Larkin show. <laughs> you didn't even talk. That was him. <laughs> this is him. <laughs> we was in the garage. Yeah, you want to talk about LARP? I can do I'll, I'll talk about LARP. <clears throat> you should, yeah, and go listen to our LARP podcast. Future yep. Villains podcast. Make sure you get some popcorn and the beers. You can yep. find the Future Heels podcast, the Future Villains podcast on iTunes and YouTube. You can find a really special clip from one of our podcasts right now of uh, Lance Regar uh, losing his shit about the Attitude Era on YouTube right now. (laughs) It's pretty great. And then you can find everything that's a YouTube Red-friendly podcast on YouTube. You can just put it in your pocket and you're good. And you can find all of this content on futurevillains.com. F-E-W-T-R-U-E-V-I-L-L-A-I-N-S.com. We will have a new WWE Women's Champion. The rest of the media. We gone.